Hey guys, it's John P. Guess what? We can finally get into our garage. Welcome to Geek Beat! You just told me in the last episode that I couldn't stand up there and say I was king of the world. What are you doing? Uh, do as I say, not as I do, John. What are you doing still sitting down? This is one of our free chairs that we're going to be giving away. So if any viewers in the area want to come get a free chair, here's one. <laughs> There's a whole bunch over there. But yeah, guess look what? how many chairs we have. You know what's exciting to me? What? All of this area, the last time we guys showed you this, all of this area was covered with stuff. The whole back room was stacked. Yep. But those people finally came and took like all the junk. You can see all the way back to the wall. So I was like rolling around and stuff. We actually still have a whole lot of junk. Um, and one of the many questions today is all about answering your questions. One of the many questions is, please tell us you're recycling or donating, not just getting rid of the stuff. Of course, anything we can, we will. Um, and we're, we're still, they're still selling some of the stuff, so we've got to figure all that out. But soon we'll let you know if you can come by and pick stuff up. Yeah, it's almost all gone, yep. but pretty much at this point, if you see anything in here that you think is cool and you want it, come get it because- And uh, no, there is not, there's not an Apple computer in the <laughs> Apple box in the trash pile. It is empty. Yeah, somebody a took lot it. Of, a lot of people uh, noticed yeah, the they Apple noticed. logo. You guys notice all kinds of crazy <laughs> details. It's impressive. It's like a Where's Waldo game. Yeah, exactly. But all these chairs and these desks and things that are standing Standing up here, whatever uh, people that we know, don't, you know, if you don't want them, that's totally cool. In the next like week or so, yeah. we will call Goodwill and yeah. we will ask them to bring their truck and we will load them up and we will send them off to good people who can use them. Indeed. And then all this trash here, when we get our big permanent trash thing out there, dumpster, dumpster, we won't be able to fit it all in one load probably, but Gosh, we'll. No. we'll We'll fill it up once and then let them take it away and then when they bring it back, <laughs> fill it up again and eventually it'll all be gone. Let's show you what we did in the server closet. Come oh on. yeah, yeah, let's go in there. A server room, I love the server room. Ken oh. loves the server room. Hey, this looks different. Yes, this weekend we had a little fun in here. Well, John just told me that we have to get all of these off this wall, but I'm thinking, I mean, this is ridiculous. Wow, I think it's gonna take forever to individually unhook each and every single one of them. So I say throw caution to the wind and I'm going hacksaw. Yeah! This is part of the fun of owning your own building, right? You get to do whatever you want. All right, this is fun, actually. Oh. Yeah, I had a lot of fun hacks on. You had a little too much fun. Yeah. It's not completely finished, but no. you can see. Remember, all those crazy wires used to be right here, gone now. Uh, we've got most of it out, and we still have some so big have bundles some of stuff. cabling. But you see, this is only because it's going through the roof up there. There's a bunch of Ethernet <laughs> cables hanging out right there. There's a bunch of cables hanging right up there. But what's going to happen is, as we go through the building, any old cable gets get removed. Up in the field, in the ceiling, and get all that out. And we already have a huge pile in the uh, in the other room. We're going to make it even bigger. I want to see how big of a pile of old cables yeah. we can have. The one thing in here I made us salvage. Was she would not this. let me take it down. This is beautiful, is it not? I love it. I want to frame it. I want to keep it here for all time. Am I crazy? Anyway, that is my little baby right this, here. This, for those of you um, who don't know what it is, okay. This is the old original telephone lines coming in from the from the local central office. So every back in the day, it wasn't you even, know, it wasn't even a punch board. No, back in the day, Callie, they didn't have digital phones. I know. That's why I'm so excited by it. <laughs> every one of these little pairs was a phone line coming in here. And look, you can even see what the extensions were, like the phone number. I don't know what it was, 414-2751 to 2800 or whatever. Don't, so, don't call that. I'm, I'm sure it, that, that person wouldn't really appreciate it. I didn't tell them an area code. Anyway. Anyway. So let's go in the big room. We didn't wait. We didn't look in the server room. Oh, yeah. Because if you recall, the last time we went in here, there was junk in here. It's all gone. That's true. It's all in the we, big room. We took everything out of here. It's nice and empty. Ken, is, Ken was just in here doing measurements 
for the racks and yeah. stuff we're going to put in. So, so actually one of the questions that the audience has had is are we going to use the old, uh, you know, a raised, raised floor flooring. in here? That is an excellent question. No, we are not. What? Why not? Well, here's why. <laughs> See, with the, with the raised floor that was out there, it was a big area. Yeah. And what, what was happening was they had racks of equipment, or in, in this case, they had mainframes. They had a couple of AC units that pushed the air down into the floor and yeah. then up through the racks, which you needed in a space like that. But since this room is pretty small, and if you look up at the top, we've got an, a ridiculous amount of AC in here. There's two vents, two returns, and two vents. Plus, we're going to have this, two of these units, yeah. one in this corner and one in this corner. And hopefully, we'll find a better way to vent them than this. Yeah, but that kind of looks bad. the point is, we're going to have maybe four or five racks in here. And with all this cooling, it will blow right through the racks. So we don't really so need. No necessary. We don't need, and if we did, we'd lose w almost a foot of height okay. of flooring. Yeah. So it's kind of like we're taking out this tile and we're taking these old power strips here off the wall and we'll clean everything up. It'll get painted nicely. Yeah. And then we'll mount our racks, bolt them safely to the floor, put our junk in it. And be done. And be done. And we will have all sorts of like, you know, uh, enterprise grade equipment reviews coming up um, yes. on that end because a lot of you are asking about yeah, that. Yeah, we've had questions about that. And in fact, uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why we're- I'm not we're, gonna bump into anything this time. Yeah, that's one of the things we're excited about with the move here is that we'll finally have the kind of facilities and infrastructure where we can really put to the test some yeah. enterprise grade equipment. In the past, we've done a lot of small, medium business and individual stuff. We're gonna keep doing all of that. Oh yeah, of course. But we'll now be able to add stuff like big servers, yep. big switches and things like that because we've got the environment for it. All right, so. Uh, Look, this, this room is cleaned out room. almost. Yeah, there's, there, you, it was packed before, you remember, and it's almost it's all cleared off. There is. Yeah, there, this You're, is a big But uh, you remember there used sorter, to be two. There used to be two of these yeah. right over there. The, one of them is gone. The guy's coming in about an hour to pick up this one. Yeah, because he already took the other one, but he yeah. could only fit one in his truck, so he went and took I don't it. Know why? What kind of truck does he have? Now he's coming back. He's getting this one. This will be gone today. Yeah. And this room will be basically empty. There was all kinds of junk over there. It's all gone. Now we will have, we will probably be the ones getting rid of the, all these file cabinets. So yep. if you're file in cabinets. Dallas and you want some file cabinets, let us know. Um, also, uh, one of the main questions, we refer to this room as our um, uh, hoteling, space. hoteling space. Now there were there was some confusion on that. Uh, co-working and hoteling space, kind of the same thing. Kind of the same. Depends but, on whether it's people who are kind of part of the company right. or not part of the company. Right. And so a lot of people suggested that we use this space since it is open for some co-working yeah, space. Yeah, rent it out. And rent it out to uh, fellow Dallas uh, entrepreneurs or just, you know, whatever. So here's the deal. We need He's space. We need space for our own people. And so we will have desks in here that people can float and and they can grab any desk that they wanted to grab. But at the same time, We'll also, you know, I mean, heck, we have friends. We, we, like, our, we like other people, so yeah. we might as well let them come work with us. If you're really interested in coming and, and uh, co-working at the Livid Lobster HQ, we, talk to us about it. Yeah. If we like you and know you and trust you, then you could probably come work here with us. You know, we won't charge too much, just a little bit to, just to pass help some support. Checks, yeah, just yeah. To fingerprints, clearance. yeah, yeah the whole ordeal. But, you know, it's not... Yeah. It's, Get a chip. Yeah, of we'll course. chip you. You know, it won't be, it won't be, anyway. it won't be a big deal. <laughs> That's that. Um, also, one of the major things. When Speaking of first... chips in the brains, you know what is a great movie? I wonder if it's on Netflix. Johnny Mnemonic. Oh, it is. That movie is awesome. Do you remember that, Dave? <laughs> he, it was uh, what's his name? Keno Reeves. Keanu. Keno Reeves. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. <laughs> yeah, it's Keno. <laughs> Keno Reeves. He got a memory yeah, implant. I have actually seen that. I, I know because I made you watch to. it. Do you remember, Dave, that he had to load a memory doubler into his brain? Because he needed to put a little over a gigabyte well, in. Like, no, it was, was like it, it was wasn't like even a gigabyte. It was, it was like, like a megabyte. A, it was like 160 megabytes <laughs> or something that he could get. He only had like 80, but then he got it doubled to like 160. <laughs> Activating Pemex memory doubler. And then they wanted to shove something in his brain that was like 200, and that made him have 
Brainal leakage. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's worse than anal leakage, people. Hey. Anyway, I bet this you. This is a family show, John. I wonder. If, I wonder if you can get that on Netflix. If you can, Go you to can. Netflix.com/slash/geekbeat and get. 30 days free. Yes. We're going to put that movie right alongside the uh, telephone controls over there. Johnny Mnemonic. Yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. Anyway, what were you trying to say before so, I said that? The, uh, the first Brain thing leakage. most people have said uh, when they see the building for the first time is, wow, there are no windows. What yeah. are you going to do? Or, you know, are you concerned about that? Are you going to put windows in? Well, the thing you may not realize about uh, no windows, and one of the reasons we actually like this building is because we shoot our shows everywhere. We utilize every piece of space that we can. And uh, so that's we want to control a very the lighting. Good thing. Yeah, we yeah, don't, we don't want... want natural lighting affecting the professional lighting that Dave sets up. Yeah, different times of day, the lighting is different, everything like that. But for those of you who are worried, who are thinking, okay, working in an office with no windows is drab and dreary. This is Livid Lobster HQ, baby. <laughs> there is nothing expect? drab and dreary going on here. <laughs> everything we do is fun, so you do not have to worry. I promise you this. Anyone working in this building is having a good time at all times. You don't need a window for that. And I think the uh, Geek Beat bikini team yeah, will Yeah, they'll help provide with, uh, with that. Um, <laughs> something to look at. All right, so uh, will there be drop cams during the renovation? Uh, you know, a lot of people want to see what's going on here. Of course, we're going to attempt to bring that in, but we have no internet connection at the moment. Yeah, we, we, uh, we currently, what we do have is we have a little clear router here. Yeah. Uh, which is which works for just kind of hobbling along, but uh, we need a really stable connection with more bandwidth. So yep. we we've talked to someone about that, and we're trying to get a quick temporary connection in before our big fat fiber pipe gets in. Because yes, we're gonna have fiber optic to the building. Yep. You know, more fiber for boots, brain leakage. <laughs> more, oh, that's yeah. right. I'm gonna get a T-shirt made. Hey, how many of you hey, guys? How many women want to come co-work here? Hey, tweet me any? if you would buy a T-shirt that says "Brainal Leak <laughs> Leakage." <laughs> Brainal Leakage. If you would buy one of those T-shirts, if enough of you would do that, I'll get them made and I'll be the first one to wear it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Come on, you know you want that. <laughs> anyway, don't we have some other questions or something? <sighs> yes, John. <laughs> Uh, energy efficiency. That's actually a good question to oh. bring me out of my little funk. Hey, that's another good reason not to have a bunch of windows. <laughs> to be completely true. honest, this building. Uh, uh, two more reasons. One is security because we only have sm we only have a few windows. They're these small ones, and you notice they have actual bars on them and right. stuff. So we, it, it does provide physical security, considering we'll have a little data center in here and all yeah. that you know, expensive equipment, we, and we we're going to put alarm a lot equipment of and everything in this, in this business and the equipment and stuff. Yeah. So we do want the security. Of course, you guys watching drop cams. Is you are uh, our security, security as well. system. <laughs> but anyway, back to the energy efficiency. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are going to outfit all of these lights uh, with the ballasts. New, the ballasts with new uh, energy efficient ballasts. So yeah. they should actually provide us more light and be more efficient. A hundred percent of the lighting in this building is being updated. A hundred percent. And solar panels. Uh, yes, we want them. We want them badly. I know you guys want to see us put them in. They're expensive. It's probably I know John grand. did it at his house, but um, yeah, and we're going to have to broke wait from it. on that. Because Unless any of you solar panel companies <laughs> out there would like a big project. <laughs> so as soon as we can do solar panels, you know, budgetary-wise, we will, but that'll be a little bit down the road. Hey, you know what we're going to do soon? What? Uh, pretty soon, we're going to put a new roof on this place. Yes, we are. When we do, we'll take you guys up there to see what they're doing on the roof. It'll be badass. Indeed. And then also you can see how we would lay out the solar arrays and stuff on the roof because do, yeah. it would be cool. But again, it's going to be a long time before we get solar panels. Yeah. So I don't know. Is that about it? That's about it. Just two quick things. Uh, you guys keep asking if you can visit the studio once we get it all renovated. If you're in Dallas or can get to Dallas, we've always been an open studio. Yeah. You can come in anytime. every Friday, we any love whatever. You guys, every Friday, every day, whatever. Uh, so, but of course, once we get this place renovated, it's going to be amazing, and you will want to come here. It's going to be 24/7 party time.
What was the other thing? Well, I'm going to be tired. Yeah. Um, naming the building. Oh, uh, yeah. We have on the forums, if you haven't gone to geekbeat.tv slash forums, make sure you're chiming in on the name of this building. Good God, there's a lot of people already chiming in. We have like five pages full of suggestions. Yeah, so go to geekbeat.tv forward slash forums and create your account and register. Get registered now yep. so that nobody takes up your name. Not Next. like that's really possible. But anyway, do that anyway, and then go chime in on what you think we should name the building. Next week, we're going to open it up for a poll. So Are that we? we'll take all of those suggestions. Are we crowdsourcing the naming? And we're going to crowdsource the name. Now, one wow. interesting thing is people are suggesting we name the building, but also name each individual oh, the rooms. space in the building. Uh, that's a good idea. Maybe so we, we should do that. we have to look that. at that. We might have to do that. Yeah. Anyway, that's about it. Yeah. I'm going to go remodel the bathroom now. So uh, Remodel y'all have fun. Use. All right, well, you guys, uh, maybe not for that, but give us a thumbs up on youtube.com slash geekbeatv. So if you got them, I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. And I'm John P. Oh, gosh. <laughs>